Hey everyone, welcome to Average Joe Preparedness. My name's Rick, and I'm an Average Joe. So, welcome to 2023. We lived, we made it, we survived, we got here. Yes? Yes. And if you've gone back to my videos when I first started doing this, which was a few years ago, I think it might have been 19, 2019, I don't know. Uh, you probably find out and you'd ask me, are we going to make it to 2023? Then my answer would have been yes, because that is the way. We are human beings and we survive. It's what we do. Again, I've, I've talked about how this world is a crazy place and just living on this planet tries to kill you, not even taking into account other human beings and whatever, but we are survivors. And that is what some of us are going to do. And no matter what the situation is, not all of us, it happens, it's happened through history. But yes, we made it, we survived, it's 2023. Now I waited just a little bit to make my first video of 2023 because I was busy, for one. And uh, I got weather and it keeps coming in and going and coming and going and coming and going. And I'm already working on or trying to prepare like my gardening beds, my my lawn. Okay, let's start there. I work. I live in suburbia and so I mentioned that I have to do the suburbia thing. I'm pointing out to the front. So the front of my house needs to look good. The flower beds and the yard. And I go out and I, and I make my neighborhood look nice because, and I've talked about it before, I wasn't a good person a long time ago, hung out with bad people decades, decades, decades ago. And uh, they come after neighborhoods and the such that don't look good. The people don't take care of themselves. They don't take care of their stuff. Because they figure, hey, if they don't care, they're not going to care if we do something. So I, I mentioned it before. So yeah, uh, I'm already working on trying to get my front yard to look good. Yes? Yes. And I'm working in the back, the, the planter beds. When I can, it's like rain and snow and then the little sun and it's cold and it's freezing. But there's always things you can do. I, I found there's always things I can do. So you, I, I don't know. I don't know you. you. Look around and see if you can find stuff that you can do to keep yourself busy one, because it's winter, and two, because it's just that much more uh, you're ready for when you can do things. So if I can get like 10 or 20% of the stuff done now, then once the weather turns, I'm already, I'm already that much more ahead, if that makes sense. So got to stay busy. But that's not the only reason I, I waited. Uh, I wanted to let all the content creators out there do their, uh, what is it? Hold on a second. I, I had notes. Oh, yeah. The predictions for 2023 and what they were going to focus on and this but they they list these predictions like this is what I think is going to happen in 2023. Yes? Yes. Okay, so let's run with it. I just want to see what was trending for lack of a better term before I made my video, my first video of 2023. So let me tell you what my predictions are for 2023. And that is basically things are just going to stay the same. And I don't even mean that by like the normally biased, like, oh, everything's going to be great and everything's... No. The same thing I've been telling people for years. And I don't know that I've been wrong. So let's go over it. Uh, the prices of things are going to go up. Things are going to be more expensive. The stock market's going to go up and down. Uh, interest rates are going to continue right now to keep going up. It, it may be a while before those come down again. But uh, your money is going to have less value. And your your... The cost of everything to include, like water, electricity, and all those other good kind of things, is all just going to keep going up. Yes? Yes. Let's stop right there. And somebody might say, well, that's an easy prediction, right? Because, you know, that's just normal stuff. And yeah, yeah, exactly. So if it's such an easy prediction and that's just normal stuff, are you guys ready for it? I'm just ask them. So, oh, what are my next predictions? Let's move on. So there's probably going to be hurricanes and tornadoes and floods. And maybe, I don't know if there'll be a tsunami, but we can always guess there's probably going to be one. And ice storms and earthquakes and blah, blah, blah. Oh, my. Remember, this planet's trying to kill us. So that's one or more of those somewhere around the world is probably going to happen in 2023. Yes? And you might say, well, Rick, that's a pretty easy prediction. You know what I'm saying? What the heck? That stuff happens all the time. Yes. And that's my exact point. Okay. If these things are so easy that I can predict them and I'm going to be right and you're agreeing with me, like that's not that big of a deal, then are you being prepared for it? Yes, and that's it. Basic emergency preparedness. Yay. Now, let's move on. Let's, let us let me give you my list of things of what this channel is going to go over and focus on this year because that seems to be trending. So let me tell you what, let's start with the negative. Let me tell you what you're probably not, and I say probably because I don't like to use absolutes, but you're probably not going to see on this channel this year. 
How's that sound? We'll start with that. Which are, and I have a list right here, but you guys can't see it. But I'm probably not going to sit here and read you the news. There's a lot of other channels out there. Doing, and then tell you how you should feel about it. I mean, no offense intended to those channels that do. That's cool. And obviously, they have huge followings. So there's people that want that. It's cold out here. But it's just not what I'm going to do. See what I'm saying? First off, it reminds me too much of the mainstream media that they don't just tell you the facts. They tell you stuff and then they uh, tell you how you should think and what you should think. So it seems to be doing that. It's just prepper stuff, but it still seems to be the same thing. And there's plenty of channels out there that'll do that for you. Yes, I don't think you need to come here for that. And you're probably not going to see me trying to mess with the algorithms. And we'll start with a lot of the channels. They're like, yeah, blah, 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 this, that, and the other thing. Why don't you comment down in the section below, you know, in the comment section below, what you've seen in your area or what you found or what you think about this or... They want you to comment because apparently in the algorithm, the more people that comment, then the better the views are and all that. So if you want to comment down below, oh, hold on a second, let's make sure we're clear. If you want to comment down below, I got no issue with it, but you're probably not going to get me almost begging you to do it or for no reason whatsoever. Oh, it's today's Tuesday. What day of the week did you see this video on? You just comment down below. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, oh my gosh, that's cool. But yeah, that's just not my style. So if you want to comment, that's fine. But me pointing down and telling you to comment down there, it's probably not going to happen. What's the next one? Oh, algorithms. You're probably not going to see the little, you know, the little picture thing that you click on and, uh, you know, with my video, it's probably not going to be again, going for that. It's not going to say world war three, like every day. Yes. Yes. Okay. What else? Let me see. It's probably not going to say something like do this now. These are must haves. Uh, oh, you're probably not going to see me holding the thing saying you need to buy my books, the series of books, which is which is fiction, but I wrote it so you could survive the zombie apocalypse. And after and after you can survive, I wrote, and if you don't read these, then you're not serious about prepping. Yeah, I thought it was funny, guys. So you're not going to find that. Let me see. Uh, uh, probably not going to find Patreon on this channel. And then these different levels of like Patreon, because I never understood that. If, if I want you to get this information, that's the reason why I'm here, then I just give you the information. I'm not going to charge you a buck so that you come over and get more information or three bucks so you get the more, more information or five bucks a month so you can get the more, 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 more. Really, guys? Anyways, probably not going to see that. Okay, let's keep going. You're probably not going to see sit reps. I, I think that's pretty funny. Or intel briefings. <laughs> Or uh, what is it? Me just showing you photos of when I went out to my local store, like my local Walmart or whatever, and I'm showing you all the holes in my area because I don't. I, what does that mean to you? It doesn't mean anything. So here's the thing, guys. If if you don't understand what's going on, if you don't go to the store and see what's there, then I'm I'm, I'm not going to do it. So I love you guys. Not really. I don't know you. I love the idea of you guys. How's that sound? But and that's another thing. You're not going to hear me say, I just love all my viewers. So I don't know you guys. You with me? I hope you guys are good people. But but anyways, getting back, I'm not going to show you photos of uh, what's in my stores because I'm sure you have a different thing at your stores. You see what I'm saying? And it's to each individual. Uh, let me see. What else? Ah, hold on a second. My minute's almost up. Okay, so, and you're not going to see me do boots on the ground. They have, or community reports or whatever. You see what I'm saying? There's people now that all they do is read emails from their viewers about how things are in their area. Now, as I told you, uh, I'm going to call out, uh, obviously this is, I'm referring to a bunch of content creators, but since it's negative, I don't be conceived or perceived as negative. I don't call them out, but let me give you a positive one. And that is the first person who did boots on the ground. I still watch his stuff and it is Southern Prepper One. Now, he has a very unique way of filming it and the editing, which there isn't very much, to be honest. And it's very low dollar, I guess, if you want to call it that. But let me tell you what, as far as I could find when I was going through my feeds, he was the first one to do it. He still does a pretty good job. So if you're looking for that, if you're looking for the boots on the ground where people are, are talking about what's going on all over the United States or in the world, I do him because I like to keep my finger on the pulse, but I'm probably not going to do it. There's other people out there doing it already. Yes? So, Southern Prepper 1, the number one. Yes? Yes. And finally, uh, what you're probably not going to get here this year is me telling you that what you are doing is wrong in any way. Because I don't know you. I don't know your journey. I don't know where you are on the path. I don't know how far you've come. I don't know anything about you. 
and I don't like putting out people's fires, whatever you do, whatever you feel like you need to prepare for and whatever you feel like you need to get or do or all those things is something. So at least you're moving in a direction. Now, I would always encourage people to re-examine. I would always encourage people to get more information, but I'm not going to sit here and say, if you're doing this, you're wrong. And if you're not doing this, you're wrong. You, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So hopefully uh, I don't do that this year. Or I'm, I'm hoping that that doesn't come across. Yes. Yes. Let me tell you what you're probably going to get this year. Give me a second. Mm. Coffee. Hand warming. What you're probably going to get this year is what I've been doing, I believe. And that's a start off with basic preparedness. And then, yes, I know we move into the camping arena because it can help you be more prepared for these big things. And I'm very much an advocate of, why aren't you know, prepared for the zombie apocalypse? I'm a very big advocate of, if you start small, you have things to build on. Build on, build on, build on, build on. If you're down here and you are have basic emergency preparedness in anything, let's say water, then maybe you might have some camping. And you are going to be a percentage-wise prepared for something big. So if you just do this, you may be 50% prepared for some huge zombie apocalypse. Or if you do this, you may be 40% prepared for a zombie. You, you get what I'm saying? So that's the basics. And you can try to get, but without a foundation, things just fall apart. Does that make sense? I hope so. And the first one, which if you've been here a while, you've heard it lots and lots of times, is your finances. I, I hope with interest rates going up, I hope with the economy being terrible, I hope with the housing and this and that and blah, 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 everyone has learned that finances, all it takes is one little thing to just knock you down, sweep your legs right out from underneath you. I've been preaching it for years and I will preach it for years, is your finances, get them in order, get them under control. Yes, do everything you can, little things, big things, medium things, it doesn't matter. You need to get your finances in control. Okay. So like when it comes to, I think I mentioned this and I said, this was a little pricey. You'll have to go back and see a video. I don't know if I'm going to put the thing there. And I said, I saved up for it. I have a small little allotment that goes into this account that I don't even look at. You with me? And I take the rest of my money. I pay my bills. I pay. And then once in a while I'll go look at it. And that money is stacked up. Doop, doop, doop. That's the money I use for things like this. Yes. Yes. But again, what you're probably going to see is a bunch of little things, maybe some medium things, and we'll talk about big things when it comes to finances. And it may seem so small that you're like, well, that's just silly. Okay, it's to give you ideas, for one, we've talked about that before, where you start looking around where you are on things you can do to try to save money. Little things here, little things there, because finance, finances, oh my God, so many people are being caught just finances, money, bills, and it's... It's, there's no way that you are going to be as prepared as you could be if finances are killing you. Yes? Yes. Okay, looking at my notes. We're going to focus on reducing debt and, ah, small little things. Now, I've done videos like where, and I'm probably going to do another one, where I brought my vacuum out here and I did some little stuff on my vacuum. You'd be like, what the hell does that matter? Because I fixed my vacuum. And we're going to talk about it because my minute's up. So that same vacuum, and I'll, do, I'll shoot a video on it just because, and you no, not the vacuum again, right? Yeah, the vacuum. So my vacuum wasn't working. There's just something wrong with it. You know what I'm saying? It just felt like it wasn't doing really good if you use something over and over again. And uh, I brought it out here to do that normal maintenance that I do on it. You know where I change the filters or clean them or and uh, uh, get the hairs out of little things? You know what I'm talking about because I've done videos on it. Or maybe I'll do another one. And I think these basic videos are fantastic because it teaches you how things work and it teaches you how to work on things yourselves. It teaches you how to use tools. It teaches you basic knowledge on mechanics and electronics that you can build on, build on, build on. But anyways, I came out here to do it and there's this like little hose down at the bottom and it had a crack in it. It is like dry rotting and uh, I get online. I ordered the part. I changed it out. It costs like nine bucks, guys. Nine bucks, my vacuum. And now it's like, and I see the carpet sucking up off the pad. So my vacuum's awesome. And I found out when I was there on the site, it's running a little long, no. When I, I found out when I was on the site that basically I can order anything for that vacuum. And I'm going to. I'm going to keep that vacuum alive forever instead of spending money on a new one. Yes? Yes. I'm sure some of you are saying, dude, I'm not going to do that with a vacuum, bro. No, I'm just going to go buy a new vacuum, go to Walmart or whatever. Okay, I'm not telling you not to. I'm never going to tell people what to do. What I'm doing is I'm showing you things. 
Now, if you want to, that's your business. If you're in that position, that's fine. But did you know you could you could maintain your stuff so it lasts longer, so you don't have to... Vacuums are like 100 bucks. I'm just going to throw that out there. Some are a little less, some are a lot more. That's 100 bucks, guys. You know what I mean? And it teaches you, and it teaches you that mindset of fixing things, fixing your own stuff. So I can fix a vacuum. I can fix almost everything on that vacuum. I can buy all the parts. It's awesome. And so that's what I'm going to do because I doubt the parts I'm buying are ever, I don't know if they'll ever reach up to how much a vacuum actually cost. You see what I'm saying? And I'm learning. So uh, getting on, getting, going to you though, you don't have to fix your vacuum. Look around for something and, and fix that. And, and you don't have to fix anything. These are ideas. These are ideas on how you can save money and ideas on your mind, the way you think that you're going to fix something instead of just going out and being a consumer. Yes? Yes. All right, this video is getting long. So two more things. And that is do your own research. I'm just some guy in his garage, right? And whether it doesn't matter what the other YouTube people are, you can almost all consider them as just a person in a the garage. They may be in their kitchen, they may be in their backyard, they may be on a sound studio, but you see what I'm saying? You with me? I am just a person. That is what I am. Trying to get you to think and trying to give you ideas and trying to get people to be ready for things. Yes? Yes. So do your own research on everything because I know I do. It doesn't matter what I see on YouTube or what I go, man, it's a good idea. I still go out there and do my own research. Yes? Yes. Because in the end, you are responsible for you. Okay. You can't take someone and go, oh man, it's their fault. No, it's your fault. Okay. Well, I listened to them. And, yeah. Did you do your own research? No. Well, it's your fault. Something that people, I don't know why they under, don't understand this. Emergency preparedness, being prepared for anything in life, it's you. And it's something with the younger generation, guys. I don't know. Sorry. And some old people too, but yeah, younger generation. And finally, when it comes to that, is you need to choose your own path. I don't know where you are. I don't know who you are. I don't know what challenges you are facing. And I don't know what challenges you're going to face. I mean, I could say inflation is tough, but if you're financially prepared, it won't affect you. And you see what I'm saying? Everyone has their own path that they need to walk. You need to choose it and you need to walk it. You with me? Now, hopefully you're going to come back here, check out my videos once in a while, I don't know, and get some ideas. And again, if nothing else, to critique me. I, I talked about that before, that if you're critiquing me, at least you're thinking. Where you say, no, I'm not going to do what Rick says because that's silly. I'm going to do See how that made you went from you're not going to do what I'm saying to something else. So now you're thinking alongside and you, it's your idea. You're going to go down there. You're going to do that, I hope. You with me? So yeah, you're going to get a bunch of basic stuff here this year. And probably the next one is going to be, I'm going to do that vacuum just to mess with you guys. And then maybe something about a fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher, Rick. Yes, a fire extinguisher. Basic preparedness. And how many of you actually have been trained to use a fire extinguisher? Hmm. All right, guys, this video probably ran too long. I'll find out when I edit. I have no idea how long it is right now. But uh, yeah, so in the meantime, it's 2023. I, I can't believe it's 2023. That's awesome. And I hope this finds you well. I hope you are happy. I hope you are positive. And I hope everyone out there is being prepared.